Welcome back, Little Diamonds. Hope you had a great weekend. It's What Works Week, and we're talking about taking no for an answer. Shout out to Miss Lankus's class at Woodland Elementary in Minnesota. Thank you for watching. It'd be awesome if you could have whatever you wanted, whenever you wanted, but that's not the way the world works. Unless you have a magic genie in your pocket, and if you do, you better keep that a secret. People are going to have to tell you no for a lot of reasons, and this week we're going to learn what to do when it happens so that you can get over it and move on without too much trouble. First thing you need to know is that it happens to all of us. Second is, it doesn't help to whine and fuss. Now listen closely. What are some good reasons that people need to tell you no? Welcome back, Little Diamonds. It's What Works Week, and we're talking about taking no for an answer. Shout out to Miss Undum's class at Frenchtown Elementary in Montana. Thank you for watching. So why do people tell you no? Well, adults often tell you no because what you're doing is unsafe and they don't want to see you get hurt, or because what you want to do is not good for you. They also tell you no because what you're doing might break stuff or hurt someone else. Adults use no to teach you what works and what doesn't, like playing in the street or eating gum off the ground. We don't say no because we want you to be sad. We do it to keep you safe and sound. Now listen closely. How does no help keep you safe? Welcome back, Little Diamonds. It's What Works Week, and we're talking about taking no for an answer. Shout out to everyone at the Gerber School in California. Thanks for watching. So why do your friends tell you no? Well, they might tell you no because they want to do something else or because they're having a bad day. They might say no because they don't like what you're doing or how you want to play. They might say no because their parents have told them that what you want to do is not okay. Friends tell you no for a lot of reasons, but it doesn't have to ruin your day. The best thing to do when a friend tells you no is ask them why and then listen to what they have to say. Now listen closely. Why is it a good idea to listen to your friends when they tell you no? Welcome back to Little Diamonds. It's What Works Week and we're talking about taking no for an answer. Shout out to Ms. Wiley's class at Elrod Elementary in Montana. Thank you for watching. Now let's look at some of your choices when you have to deal with no. You can throw a fit and get really mad, which usually just makes things worse. You can pout and feel sorry for yourself, which usually just makes you feel worse. Or you can make the choice to do something to make yourself feel better, like just saying, okay, and doing something else. Or you can ask them why, so you can learn from it and grow. But remember, there won't always be an easy answer. Sometimes no just means no. Now listen closely. What are some good ways to deal with being told no? Welcome back, Little Diamonds, and thanks so much for being here this week so we could talk about how to deal with being told no. Shout out to Miss Ralph's class at Woodland Elementary in Minnesota. Thank you for watching. I told you yesterday that sometimes no just means no, and I bet some of you were thinking, well, that's not very fair. Little Diamonds, life isn't always fair, and people aren't always going to want to tell you why they had to tell you no, especially the adults in your life, like parents and teachers. Remember, they only want what's best for you so you can learn and grow. So please, give them the respect they deserve. And don't freak out when they have to tell you no. Now listen closely. How does being told no help you learn and grow? I'll see you next week. And remember, feelings are a big deal, but they come and they go. Bullies are real, but we can say no. It's up to us to make a choice. It's up to you to find your voice. Peace out, little diamonds. The rest is still unwritten. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. <laughs>